What's up, guys? How's it going? Oh, yeah. In my apartment. There's my treadmill. There's my couch. This whole place is mine. Um, anyway, so I was kind of what I'm making this vlog about today is guess what? E3 is this week. Yes, E3 is this week. Uh, last night, as far as I know, we had a whole bunch of press conferences, but I only considered about the big three. Um, or big four really, EA, Ubisoft, Sony, and Microsoft. Um, don't know what the hell that was about. Uh, we just got people moving in, um, upstairs, which is kind of gay, but, uh, our apartment complex is doing some kind of, like, move-in deal all the time, so, whatever. Um... Anyways, so you guys might hear occasional bumps in the night. I hope to God they're not noisy, motherfuckers. Well, some have to make complaints. <laughs> um, but anyways, enough about all that crap. Uh, we got E3 going on this week, so I'm pretty fucking happy. Pretty, pretty freaking happy. And uh, with all that said, uh, Scorpio was just announced. I just laugh because anybody who's got a high game, a high priority gaming rig like the one I have now, because I built it myself not for anything but the fact that i could i could um is uh pretty much gonna be kind of like left in dust because even though yeah xbox scorpio or xbox one x is uh is a powerhouse for home entertainment console at the same time you're getting kind of the shit in the stick if you buy one because if you have if you have the ability to build a custom gaming pc then you're pretty much saying that that thing's a piece of shit now because any anybody who who wants to build a custom gaming rig um yourself if you have i can honestly say if you have about a thousand dollars and i mean that maybe maybe eleven hundred and and i'm and i know this is a lot more than five hundred dollars the gaming machine but if you have eleven hundred dollars you could i i can literally tell you right now the specs i could tell you the specs and the exact parts you need to make yourself have a, a PC capable of running 4K just like the Scorpio and pretty much outpower anything else on PC. Um, only reason why is because I have something like that. My, my computer is running 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's got an i5 processor with four cores and they're all overclocked. It's actually three point it's 3.3 gigahertz of, of memory on that on my on my processor that's all overclocked, and my my I have an uh, G, a GeForce GTX 1060 overclock uh, Strix edition by Asus. My motherboard's a gaming motherboard that overclocks itself, um, or has GPU boost on it, and I mean I have a powerhouse of a PC, but I do still own Playstations. I don't. It's not like I don't. But with all the all the other way, I'm not here to make fun of Xbox. I'm just saying now in the time, if you guys are really wanting to do game consoles and and all this like gaming and stuff coming this year and, and E3s so like getting you hyped up, just know that before you guys hit a holiday season in November, I'm like I have to have the newest Xbox. Oh my God! Think wise, because you can future proof yourself by buying a fucking PC or building one. You could get a job, build one, ask your parents to get get you get you a PC. Or you can say, hey, I want the Xbox One X, which is, yes, on PC architecture, but it's only good for four years. Mmm. Uh, is it worth it? Probably not. But, hey, I'm going to still probably buy a PlayStation 4 Pro or a PlayStation 5. So I'm not saying Xbox One X is bad. I'm just saying, for me, after watching that shit, or after seeing that announcement, I was just like, wow, that's, that's just... It's just that. It's just wow. Like, eh. Um, now, on the other hand, though, it is E3 again this week, so I'm not going to say anything further than that other than thank you, God, it's E3. We finally made it to another year where we get to see the future of graphic fidelity and gameplay mechanics and see what the fuck the world has got to be cooking for us in the ever-imagining ima world of game developers, game designers, and machines that produce visually animated pictures that blow our minds and let us shoot people in the brains with guns or chop people's heads off with swords or even just jump to the next platform 
with a cartoon character. And that is E3, my friends. I am happy. I have a great job. I am happy with my job. I have a great life. I am happy with my life, with my wife, with my family, my dogs. And today and this week is, is a great week. We got Sony Press Conference coming later today. We're, we are having the Ubisoft, Ubisoft Press Conference right now. Pretty sure either E3 is later today or it was yesterday and Microsoft just did there. So I'm gonna go ahead because I missed Microsoft's press conference last night. I only got the cliff notes today. I'm gonna go ahead and watch the Microsoft press conference and just keep myself up to date on all the games that they announced. And on that note, I will say this much and only this much. Um, I'll end it. On, I'll end it with with the last thing I'm gonna say. The trailer and everything that I promised you guys for the past three months is coming. Um, and in March, I didn't do it because I got fucking lazy and I got a new job and my job got really hectic. I am actually started my new job February. Um, I planned on getting a trailer out in March, but I didn't really do shit in March. April, I planned on getting something out to you guys, but again, my job got hectic. Didn't have time, had a lot of family matters. Um, and in May, last month, I tried to, but I moved. Um, actually, at the end of April, I moved to this place that, that I'm walking in circles around my living room right now. Um, and I moved here and ever since then I've been pretty hectic just getting a lot of things sorted out spending a lot of money on, on stuff that you need to live um, getting bills paid getting out of debt playing a few video games recording a few video games haven't got any of that shit done yet um, and now I'm finally able to get some time this month probably the middle of the month to pop out a trailer hopefully my trailer will be released on my birthday um, I'm marking the new revamp of Will to Kill 3.0 as July 10th. I'm, I'm, sh I'm hoping to get my trailer out July 10th. I'm hoping to start making more content roll out July 10th. Um, and it's just a big day for me because I'm turning 27. And I just, I know that's not like a trademark year, but it's my birthday. It's my first, it's, it's my first birthday with my wife in our own place without having to live with relatives until we were able to get enough money to save our own. And um, that's what we've been doing. We've been living with family, uh, living out of a guest bedroom at a family's house, um, you know, paying for our own cars, paying for our own groceries and shit like that. We just, we finally got our own place. We were able to get it and we're happy. And this is just a big thing. I have my own office now, or I have my own, my legitimate like own personal built desk in the corner of our bedroom. And we have our own like nice little entertainment room and everything like that. So this is just some good news. E3 and my trailer and everything, all the changes should be coming July 10th. So with all that thing said, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. You guys are watching Will's Kill Gaming. I'm Will's Kill, yours truly, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.